Hi guys, this is Shane with DNS Adventures, and before you buy a half ton towable fifth wheel or a half ton truck, you might want to watch this video. Yes! If you're watching this video, you might be wondering to yourself, what exactly is a half ton towable fifth wheel? Well, throughout the RV industry today, there's many manufacturers out there claiming that their fifth wheel is actually towable by a half ton truck. The half ton truck, meaning like a 1500 series or 150 series truck, no matter what the manufacturer is. It is basically your sub super or heavy duty truck. They aren't claiming that these are light fifth wheels, but they're actually claiming that their fifth wheels can be towed by like an F-150 or a Ram 1500. So what makes me knowledgeable on the subject? Well, I actually bought a half ton towable fifth wheel that we're living in today full time as we're traveling around the country. I even started researching these fifth wheels, half ton towable fifth wheels to be precise, before we even started going full time about 10 months ago. At that time, we only had a 21 foot travel trailer, but I kind of wanted to look into the future to see what we might be upgrading to if we liked the lifestyle. In order to see if some fifth wheels are actually half ton towable, we're gonna have to look at some of the spec sheets. First, I'm just gonna show you a 2015 F-150, but the same logic can be applied to all the different manufacturers out there. All information I'm about to show you now can be located on my blog post that I'll link in the description below. The first step to all my research was I downloaded all the information regarding the truck and also the fifth wheels I'm about to show you. Other manufacturers should also show all their specifications for their trucks online, as well as the RV manufacturers. In this video, I'm not going to go over all the definitions. Again, you can find all the definitions that I'm going to be using today, all the keywords, acronyms, in the associated blog post that I post in the bottom of the description. So let's first look at this spec sheet, and I'll throw that right up here. In this spec sheet for the 2015 F-150, it has a wide variance on tow ratings from 5,000 pounds all the way up to 12,100 pounds. This really shows the importance of doing your own research before you buy because these numbers really do matter. Payload is the same way. Depending on your exact configuration of your 2015 F-150, your payload capacity could be as low as 1,600 pounds and as high as 3,270. That is a huge difference between the minimum number and the high number. So we can already see that not all half-ton trucks are created equal, even within the same model of truck. These different types of configurations can vary based on your engine, your axle ratio, your GC, WR, your gross combined weight rating, your wheelbase, or whether you have 4x4, 4x2, and more. The first example I wanted to show you today is kind of an, I wouldn't call it exaggeration, but it's really at the top high mark of the heavy half ton towable fifth wheels out there. But I just wanted to show you that even the fifth wheels can vary quite a bit in the length, size, and all those specs. So let's start narrowing down this debate and start looking at some of these numbers. First thing I'm going to show you is the 2019 Jayco Eagle half ton. 30.5 MBOK fifth wheel. And now I'll throw the specs up for this fifth wheel. The average dry weight of this model, depending on your configuration per fifth wheel, of course, is 9,820 pounds. The dry hitch weight is 1,875 pounds, and the GVWR is 11,950 pounds, and the cargo capacity is 1,840 pounds. Now let's compare that information to the sheet I showed you earlier of the 2015 F-150. Looking at this sheet, um, you can see that the tow capacity alone, not even looking at the payload yet, and this fifth wheel eliminates two engines already, a 3.5 TI VCT V6 and the 2.7 liter EcoBoost V6. Depending on your exact configuration, even the 5 liter V8 engine may not even handle the minimum numbers to haul this fifth wheel. The safest bet looks to be the 3.5 EcoBoost engine, but remember this is just looking at the dry weight without anything else in the fifth wheel itself yet. Now if you load this thing up anywhere close to the 11,950 pound max weight, there are only a few configurations left in the 2015 F-150 that can manage to tow this thing. These are with all the towing packages, etc. that Ford has to offer for the F-150, at least the 2015 F-150. Now for that pesky payload. With the dry hitch weight of 1872 pounds, all that weight is going in the back of your truck. Before getting too excited seeing a lot of these options going up, remember this isn't factoring the people or the cargo equipment that also adds weight to the truck. Let's say you add in 300 pounds of people, 
100 pounds of cargo, 100 pounds of fifth wheel hitch, <laughs> 200 pounds of extra weight in the fifth wheel itself, and you're already sitting at 2,572 pounds. That's extra weight in your truck that you didn't have before. Okay, Shane, that's a really heavy fifth wheel that's half ton towable. What about a light half ton towable fifth wheel? What are the specs there? Can a half ton truck actually tow this thing? All right, so let's look at a lighter example. How about we take a look at the Grand Design 150 Series 230RL. It has a dry weight of 6,945 pounds, a dry hitch weight of 1,195 pounds, a GVRW of 9,494 pounds. The slider fifth wheel, as you can see with the specs, really does seem to fit a lot more of the max tow capacity is of the 2015 F-150. However, there are some options that still don't even meet the minimum requirements of this lighter fifth wheel. Then again, you add in more weight with the cargo, the passengers, water, etc. Water is a big one. And again, you start crossing options off the board here. If you do happen to max out the GVWR, which I never recommend, <laughs> you are left with two engine options. How about payload? Well, the 1,195 pounds of pin weight is significantly less than our heavier option that we just talked about previously. But adding the same weight we added in our previous example, and this only takes us up to 1,895 pounds. It eliminates some of the options, but now you might be able to say, okay, this could actually be towed by some of these half-ton trucks. Another quick subject, never max out your tow capacity or your payload. That might be obvious to a lot of people, but there's a lot of people out there with a lot of confidence that their truck can tow anything they throw in. The main reasons to do this is to give yourself some wiggle room. It adds life to the truck, lets you drive safer, and more importantly, it keeps others around you safe. Towing an overloaded trailer can be a liability issue, and if you do get in an accident, just imagine which way that evidence will swing. Can you actually tow a half-ton towable fifth wheel with a half-ton truck? Really depends. I know people hate that answer, but it depends. It depends on your fifth wheel configuration, your truck configuration, how much you plan on putting in it, and probably how much you're going to be using it as well. Can you tow every single half ton towable fifth wheel on the market? We've proved that to be not the case at all. It really depends on your configuration. Honestly, these configurations vary so much that I think it's actually kind of dangerous of the manufacturers to even describe these as half ton towable fifth wheels because if someone doesn't do their research, which they should, but if they don't, it kind of makes me wonder the legitimacy of that advertisement. And again, this really all comes down to you doing your own research. This video and the blog post that I'm putting there in the description is really just the beginning, just to scrape the surface so you can all start doing your own research before you make that very big investment, either buying your half-ton truck or your half-ton towable fifth wheel. Just listening to the dealer, whether that be a truck dealer or RV dealer, really isn't enough they're trying to sell you something so they might tell you part of the truth but not the whole truth depending on the person you're dealing with so i said at the very beginning of this video we actually have a half ton towable fifth wheel so what do we tow ours with well we actually tow ours with the f250 a 2015 f250 which is kind of why i chose the 2015 ford um, it's a four by four short bed and it has the 6.2 liter V8 engine, so it's not the diesel option, but not having a diesel option actually gives us a little bit more payload, just not as much horsepower and torque going down the road. We actually had that truck when we were pulling the 21 foot travel trailer, which obviously pulled that thing like a dream, but we wanted to get something that we could upgrade into. That's why we decided to go ahead and go a little bit above and beyond with the F-250 since we are living in this trailer full time. So we're gonna have a little bit more weight than your average weekend warrior. When I tow this current rig with all the stuff we have in it now with the half ton towable truck, no. No, we already have a fun time getting up some steep elevations with their F-250, a 6.2 liter gas engine. I know those EcoBoost engines are nice, but I would still be concerned about power and also the payload and the official tow capacity of those half ton trucks. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those in the comment section below. I know some of you probably don't agree with everything I said. Some of you might be saying, finally, someone's making a video about this. But go ahead and leave that discussion down below. I'm interested to hear what you all have to say about it. But again, this is the third time I'm saying it in the video. I think it's the third time. I'm not an expert. 
This is just based off all the research I've done. I did all this research before I bought the stuff we have just to make sure we're gonna be good to go as far as safety. Always do your own research, especially if the purchase is gonna be impacting the safety of you, your loved ones, and everyone else around you. If you wanna see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe to our channel. And as always guys, adventure on. Thank <laughs> you.